Uh, I was supposed to do this a couple of days ago, but I read I need to look as well, blah, blah. She Hulk Volume 3. It is a lot better than the show. And they made me realize oh, wait, <laughs> even though this was obvious, why didn't they just paint her green? Like, yo, we have to make her taller and stuff like that. I feel like it would have been better if they didn't make her taller and just, you know, paint that her green. Maybe straight, you know, straightened her hair. Like, she could have. Uh, Tatiana Maslany could have just had curly hair and then they give her a wig for the. Well, she's saying She Hulk. Or. Get the curly hair. Well, she, her hair, I thought, I'm pretty sure her hair was straight before doing it because I've seen her, she was the main star in a show called Orphan Black before doing She Hulk and her hair was straight and that for the most part. I say for the most part because she played multiple characters in the show. Some of them had curly hair, but most of them had straight hair. Um, but you know. Film all the scenes of She-Hulk. So paint the green. That's it. Film those. Then go back. Uh, curl her hair. And film all the Jennifer scenes. And that's it. The show would be, mu it would be much better. But it still wouldn't be at the level where I would call it good. Because the problem with the show is that it's trying way too hard to be funny. Whereas, like, even stuff like Miss Marvel, it was more natural with its comedy, if that makes sense. But anyway, back to the, back to She-Hulk Volume 3. It's, it's good. Not much to say about it. So this is school on Friday the 14th of October 2022. I didn't realize this yesterday, but... Yesterday was the one year anniversary of Incident 1 from last year. I was planning on having a good day. Well, good first period, I mean. I go in, I find this website where I can read comics. I'm going to read, like, the boys there. But then I had some issues with the computer, wouldn't turn on. So I'm going to play 20 pages and all that. So I'm going to be like, oh, God, you're eating the boys. Hell yeah. No one noticed. And I know how sad that is. Anyway, sometime during the day, I don't remember when, I might even been yesterday, but I mentioned someone to one of my friends saying, I know that you've done something really bad and I didn't tell him until the end of the day so I'm, I'm just gonna get it out of the way he I, I'm not gonna if I say exactly what it is people will know because he did tell other people what I was talking about because there's other people telling you can you can trust me you can tell me I'm not gonna tell anyone else but anyway he did something very degenerate and that's all I'm gonna say at least in the video if you don't know what it is, ask him yourself. Um, in mentoring, we just talked about like having underpants because the mentor's son is currently reading those books. I think that's it for today. Oh, in English. And I get this was a rhetorical question. She wasn't, like, saying... You know, she was speaking from the perspective of someone else. But she was like, uh, Am I okay with killing this baby? My sister in Christ. You support abortion. This Twitter as of 15... Well, quarter past 8pm. Robert... Oh. I mean, click on Siron. Robert Carlyle, great actor. What? Wait. 
I co I'm confused. Oh, what? <sighs> oh, so it's because Robbie Coltrane. So, Robbie Coltrane's dad is going to play his Hagrid in Harry Potter films, Red in Peace, and gives me start in the movie with Robert Carlyle, but I'd never seen it. The things I think I've seen with Robert Carlyle are Transpawn, Star Trek Universe, which I didn't like, One Small Time, that Cobra show, which was crap. Yeah, I think that's it. Siron. This is what we're talking about, like, I guess in the, the revealed Siron and the show are there's going to be someone calling a politician Siron. Probably Trump. I'm kidding. Okay. I'm most likely not going to enjoy uh, Rings of Power. So I'm, I'm probably not going to get up to the point where Siron comes into it. But so I'm going to I'm going to see what Siron is like in Rings of Power. Let me just look up what he looks like in the movies. Come on. Right, so like Big Knight. Look, looks badass. I might want to pause the video and then, you know, just show a photo instead of. This is Siron. I mean. So from looks. I'm going to guess that in the movie it's a suit of armor. It's not actually what he looks like. This does the scene between quite cringy. From what I can tell, Siron is going to his girlfriend. Join me and be evil with me or something. No, I will never be evil with you. Well, you tell everyone that Siron lives and then she's like, I'm gonna kill you, Siron. It's it's hard for me to talk about this because I'm not a fan of Lord of the Rings. Whoops. Well, I wonder why Listris has a a pile of letters of no confidence. Maybe it's because she's Boris, but worse, as I predicted. Speaking of Boris. Sorry, leaned too hard on my, like the arm rest of my chair and it's moved because I can move it. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I've already said this in a video before about the way, the way I'm perceiving it right now when it comes to the Prime Minister, Tory Potter and all is, you know, the people who and support the words used to this opportunity and say, right, this is evidence that we need a, a labor, excuse me, a labor PM. Because the last four prime ministers have been conservative and they've all sucked. So I wouldn't agree with that because there is literally no difference between labor and conservative. And people go, maybe. The conservatives are they call the conservatives. Well, they call themselves that, but they have yet to conserve anything. Like, I can call myself black. It's not gonna make me black. I'm still white. <clears throat> so. If it were a couple of years ago, I would have said that we need a UKIP PM, but UKIP is crap right now. Currently, there are no good parties in the UK. So, my perspective is, we're screwed. 
Oh, two pound discount at Waddle Ads. That's that's so worth it. Oh, and yes, well, I I want to do this. Okay, so let's see who the winners were. Oh, please don't be one of these bloody listicles. Uh, Emmerdale won best soap. Uh, nominees were Cornish and Street Neighbors, East Enders, and Emmerdale. You know, it's it's four. Yeah, four pieces of crap fighting against each other. Strictly Come Dancing won for Talent Show. The others were Prince Called Talent, RuPaul's Drag Race UK, and The Masked Singer. They paid tribute to Elizabeth. Uh, Killian Murphy won an award. Yeah, there. And he was up against. Some guy from Bridgerton. Ficky McClure and Trigger Point. And her performance was good. But... I don't think it was worth getting, you know, nominated for. Anyway, and someone else from some other show I've never heard of. Beat the Chasers, one quiz show, which is not the same as the Chase. As, as far as I know, it's basically it's the same, but you're up against all of them. I don't know. Now there's World One Percent Club, Michael McIntyre's The Wheel, and In for a Penny. As in Starboard, this guy up against someone from Bridgerton and two people from Heartstopper. Special, okay, this one I'm excited for. Special Recognition Award. We have participant or winner. I don't understand. Good Afterlife winning Dairy Girls, which second place, not one I wish I've never seen, but because I hit sex education, third place. In my, I would order. Stephen Knight confirms Peaky Blinders movies on the web. By fact, we've known this for quite a while. Return to Drama, Peaky Blinders, those good in Bridgerton, Split, Cold Midwife. Yeah, Peaky Blinders won that by a mile. Special drama performance. Two people from me, Sanders. Two people from everybody. I, I don't like the fact that we're giving out multiple nominations from the same show. I don't think that's fair. So trigger point one instead of hard stopper time and it's going to hurt. Yeah, once again, mile. Although, time was... I've only seen the first episode of Time. And it's only a free episode show, so... And it's been a while since I've seen it, so I, I can't really comment on Time, but I do remember liking it. This is structured terribly. So, is it... the? Did Lenny Henry, Lenny Henry win uh, Special Recognition? I only know this guy because I, I think, was he the Dreams Ad guy or was that Idris Elba? I, I'm looking this up. It was like 2012, I think. Oh no, sorry, not Dreams, Premier Anime. Yeah, Lenny Henry was Premier in. Starting now, I make yourself a happy plate, bro. <clears throat> 
full roast of Marcus is not alive. It's like nearly two hours. I haven't seen it yet because I'm busy with another show, which I'm most likely going to, well, say most likely I'm going to cast myself, that I do have a shot of finishing before it expires. So I'm not going to say what it is. Is the most controversial thing about the roast seriously going to be that I have a square toilet? It's a completely normal toilet. No, it's not. Am I seriously getting ratioed over a toilet? Yes. Turkey adopts law that allows imprisonment of social network users and journalists for spreading misinformation ahead of elections. Western countries condemning this. Girls being called pretty for the tenth time in a day. Hmm. Boys remember that one time someone called them handsome years ago and it was not their mum. It was my grand. UK core tax set the rise 25%. Government's doing what they do best, destroying small businesses. True, but the tax cuts before was big, bigger businesses, but not smaller ones. That's all Tories care about. Wealth and their friends, upper class and big business. Corp tax is universal. You don't hit a higher bracket until you start pulling in me, millions. But my benefits, but my housing, but my NHS is the classic brain that Ted has looked, always warned about. Seeing immediate small short term goals while ignoring extreme long term damage, huge score will barely flinch at 6% for small businesses. It could be devastating. The big guys can weather the storm. Little guys can, meaning little guys may end up having to close their business, resulting in their customers having to go to the big guys instead for those services since there are no smaller competitors. This in the long run actually helps the larger corporations corner more of the market by stifling their competition, making them more likely to gain the competition's customers and premises. Sacrificing 6% now for a 10% or more in future plus a larger customer base is an easy yes. This means that the barrier for success for any working class people that want to start business has now been raised even further. It has now been made even harder for small businesses to become successful and pull themselves out of property without entrepreneurship. <clears throat> Gateway out of poverty uh, that was already difficult has now been made even more difficult and in the long run it benefits the larger corporations and throttles the little guy. And the prices of everything will now increase since tax costs are always passed to the consumer. But the working class, bro, this literally screws the working class over, you yeah, dumbass, harbor. I'm confused, doesn't it? Doesn't the UK have separate corporate and small business taxes here? Businesses under 100 employees pay half the tax rates, businesses above 100 employees. No, it's universal 19% currently, regardless of how big your company is. Unless you're a ring fence company, those that work in oil extraction, then you pay a higher rate depending on profits, source of profits. Why do we rid ourselves of all retarded government parties? I cannot speak. If I speak, I'll be in big trouble. And I do not want to be in big trouble. Scottish trans women want you to use female pronouns right until you call them hen. For any tourists coming to Scotland, call women hen. They love it. I'm, I'm just trying to imagine a trans, like a Scottish trans person. People see corporations think Walmart or Google and not literally every company including the pub down the road. I don't live in the UK but these things are very different now. Our criticism just that beginning the tax court will lead the related tax sorry, raised taxes in small businesses eventually. Nope, the core tax is universal, doesn't matter how big your company is. Meaning if it gets raised, it is raised for the biggest national multinational conglomerate all the way down for a little family going to corner shop. I avoid being fooled by ten pounds of makeup. Only talk to her in the rain. The gamer get accomplished a single thing. Well, it depends on what side you're thinking of. So, <clears throat> because if you ask anyone else, they'll tell you lies. 
I will tell you what went on in Gamergate. Sorry, I'm just shifting my chair. So, there was a game developer called Suikwin. And he was caught sleeping with a journalist. I, so that the journalist would give her game good reviews. Now, this is unethical. This, this is wrong, you should not do this. <clears throat> so, it was all about trying to point it out and, you know, you cannot trust this review because he slept with the developer and uh, like all the bloody game journal journalism websites and all we're just saying that oh the, these people are pointing that out are just they all hate women and stuff like that. Trump will make me do these capital idiots. Oh, I forgot I said. So, as for did Gamergate cause ethics in journalism to happen? No. But as for the other side, are gamers now presented as violent incels and stuff like that? Yes. Unfortunately. Despite that, it's not true. Gay folders are poised to become one of the fastest growing blogs in the country. Research conducted by the Human Rights Campaign in Bowling Green State University and based, data, based on data from the US Census Bureau finds that by 2030 approximately 1 in 7 voters will be gay. The researchers expect to see that share grow neatly 1 in 5 by 2040 and by 2050 it will be 1 in 1. This totally genetic and in no way socially engineered phenomenon is rapidly growing into a powerful voting bloc complexly beholden to the political party that has been pushing at every turn. What an, what an amazing and totally organic development. Parents in Dearborn, Michigan once again expressed mass opposition first day to the sexualization of their children in school via controversial gay books. As fresh economic data revealed inflation has yet risen again to regular highs, Biden economic advisors claim that the data highlights progress in a strong economy. Jeremy Hunt, the guy who wanted the corona positive kids to be kidnapped from their parents put in quarantine camps, is now in the government. Activists with Just Stop Oil have thrown tomato soup on fango sunflowers in the National Gallery and put themselves in the wall. Oh, this, this is definitely going to solve climate change and stuff like that. Why does it look to me like they're just using like your standard Tesco glue? <laughs> um, but I'm hoping that the the, the painting has like a glass protector on it, like the Mona Lisa did. But I mean, if the these people are stupid because if. There is no screen, and they've genuinely irreparably damaged that painting. So the painting is worth one million uh, pound euros. I'm gonna guess. Like because they've caused one million euros worth of damage, it's actually enough for them to be put on a life sentence. Like after that guy for. Whatever it was at the Mona Lisa, Marcus was talking about, and he said, like, if he actually damaged it, he would get a life sentence because of how much it cost. Anyway, you know how no one does anything to ever stop them. Yeah, that, there's like one guy going, "Can we please get security?" And that was it. They're allowed to do it. Establishment endorsed fake astroturf group. 
I don't know why Twitter's like being this now. Elon, you're supposed to be doing good stuff, dumbass. And people ask why I hate Elon. I am offering this resolution <clears throat> that the committee direct the chairman to issue a subpoena for relevant documents and testimony under oath from Donald John Trump in connection with the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. General Lady yields back. If there's no further debate, the question is on agreeing to the resolution. Those in favor will say aye. 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 Those opposed is no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. Mr. Chairman, I request a recorded vote. A recorded vote is requested. The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Cheney? Aye. Ms. Cheney? Aye. Ms. Lofgren? Aye. Ms. Lofgren? Aye. Mr. Schiff? Aye. Mr. Schiff? Aye. Mr. Aguilar? Aye. Mr. Aguilar? Aye. Mrs. Murphy? Aye. Mrs. Murphy? Aye. Mr. Raskin? Aye. Mr. Raskin? Aye. Mrs. Luria? Aye. Mrs. Luria? Aye. Mr. Kinzinger? Kinzinger, aye. Mr. Kinzinger, aye. Mr. Chairman? Aye. Mr. Chairman, aye. The clerk will report the vote. Mr. Chairman, on this vote, there are nine ayes and zero noes. The resolution is agreed to. Without objection. I don't know all this legal stuff. So... With less than one month before the midterms, Clay 6, we only forced to subpoena Donald John Trump. So, yeah, they, all the eyes and the zero nose were they want to subpoena Trump, which is, like, I'm, I think what that means is that they are allowed to go through all his stuff to look for evidence or something like that. I, I don't know. Something more irrelevant than the January 6th meeting? Arkless Cheney. Hmm. I'd have to think for a while. <laughs> but Elon Starlink says it can no longer afford to give Ukraine free service and ask the Pentagon to pay for it. Starlink has been a game changer in the war. This comes days after Ukrainian ambassador person told Elon to piss off. We're just following his recommendation. So the Ukrainian ambassador told Elon to piss off. Elon pisses off and Elon is at blame? Hmm. 